Baron Paul Kray of Krajova and Topolia German, Paul Freiherr Kray von Krajova und Topola, Hungarian, Krajovi s Topoliai Baro Kray Paul, 5 February 1735 – 19 January 1804, was a soldier, and general in Habsburg service during the Seven Years' War, the War of Bavarian Succession, the Austro-Turkish War 1787 and the French Revolutionary Wars. He was born in Kesmark, Upper Hungary today, Kesmarok, Slovakia. He withdrew from military service temporarily in 1792 because of poor health, but in 1793, he was recalled to the Habsburg military in the Netherlands at the request of Field Marshal Prince Coburg and fought in the Flanders Campaign. In 1799 he was appointed commander of the Austrian forces in Italy and colonel proprietor of the infantry regiment N.34, a ceremonial position he held until his death. On 18 April 1799, Cray was promoted to Feldzugmeister. In the 1800 campaign, Cray commanded the Austrian force on the Upper Rhine, charged with the defence of all approaches to Vienna through the German states. After being outmaneuvered by the French, he was disastrously defeated in five consecutive battles. After the Battle of Neuburg, the French acquired both shores of the river, and commanded access to the Danube waterway as far east as Regensburg. During the subsequent armistice, Emperor Francis II replaced Cray with his brother, Archduke John. Cray was discharged on the 28th of August 1800 and retired to Pest, Hungary. He died there on the 19th of January 1804. For all his victories, for his fierce competitiveness on the battlefield, the French soldiers referred to him as Le Terrible Cray, Le Fils Cher de la Victoire, and men from both sides attended his funeral in 1804. Biography Early career Cray was born in Kesmark, Upper Hungary today, Kesmarok, Slovakia. He was educated in mathematical and other military sciences in Chemnitz and Vienna, entering the Austrian army at the age of 19 in 1754 in the Infantry Regiment 31. Hollerstein", and fought in the Seven Years' War. In 1778, he was promoted from grenadier captain to major and transferred to infantry regiment. 39. After the War of Bavarian Succession, he transferred to the 2nd Schechler Grenz infantry regiment as lieutenant colonel. In 1784 he suppressed a Wallachian peasants uprising in Transylvania. Cray served in the Turkish Wars of 1787–91. On 10 May 1788, he defeated a superior Turkish force of 5,000 men commanded by Osman Pazvintolu and Kara Mustafa Pasha on the borders of Transylvania. He later led the capture of the Krajova fortress. For this, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Military Order of Maria Theresa on 21 December 1789. In May of the following year, Cray was promoted General Mahor and subsequently ennobled by Emperor Joseph II with the title of Freiherr. Von Krajau und Topolia". In the Austro-Turkish War of 1787–1791 he saw active service at Porcheni and the Vulcan Pass. <laughs> War of the First Coalition Promoted Major General in 1790, three years later Cray commanded the advance guard of the Allies under Prince Coburg, operating in Flanders and the Austrian Netherlands. He distinguished himself at Famers, Menon, Wissemberg, Charleroi, Fleurus, and, indeed, at almost every encounter in the Flanders campaign with the armies of the French Republic. Promoted to Feldmarschall lieutenant on 5 March 1796 Cray served in Archduke Charles's army of the Lower Rhine. On 19 June, after the Battle of Wetzlar, he forced General Jean-Baptiste Clébert to withdraw from Uckerath. He also defeated French General of Division Jordan in the clash at Limburg on 16 September. He then fought in various actions, including the victory at Amberg on 24 August, and at the Battle of Würzburg as a divisional commander, when he was largely responsible for the victory of Archduke Charles of Austria. On 19 September, he captured the mortally wounded general of Division François Severin Marceau Desgraviers, one of the ablest and bravest French commanders of the day. He returned the corpse to French lines with a guard of honour of the Bethlen Hussars N.35. On 4 March 1796 he received promotion to lieutenant-general In 
In the celebrated campaign of 1796, on the Rhine and Danube, he performed conspicuous service as a corps commander. In the following year, he was less successful, being defeated on the land, and at Mainz. Worse, his command was surprised and defeated by the French general Louis Lazare Hotch in the Battle of Neuwied of 1797. Cray was accused of negligence, a court's martial found him guilty and sentenced him to two weeks' arrest. He requested to resign in protest but this was denied. <laughs> War of the Second Coalition Cray commanded in Italy in 1799, and reconquered the plain of Lombardy from the French. He won a sharp action at Legnago on 26 March. For his victory over the French at the Battle of Magnano on 5 April, he was promoted Feldzugmeister artillery lieutenant general. This victory caused the French army to withdraw to the Adda River. Nevertheless, Cray was replaced when Michael von Milos arrived to take command of the Austrian forces. While the field army won two more major battles, Cray conducted the successful sieges of Peschiera del Garda and Mantua. At the Battle of Novi, he commanded the divisions of Peter Ott and Heinrich Belgard. On 6 November, he was defeated by the French in a second clash at Novi Ligur. The following year he commanded on the Rhine against Jean Moreau. As a consequence of his defeats at the battles of Stockach, Meskirch, Biberach, Iller River, and Hochstadt, Cray was driven into Ulm. However, by a skillful march round Moreau's flank he succeeded in escaping to Bohemia. After a 15 July truce became effective he was relieved of his command by Emperor Francis II and dismissed from the service. Cray's successor, Archduke John of Austria was disastrously defeated at the Battle of Hohenlinden in December. Thoroughly discredited and personally demoralized, the once respected general retired to his estates to live out his life in exile. Austrian society could be cruel to its losers. When the Habsburg officer corps shunned him, he was left almost friendless. The memories of his fine service during the Seven Years' War vanished. Later, Archduke Charles would write Cray a flattering letter explaining that the boorish behavior directed toward him stemmed from envy over his previous victories. Cray died in Pest, Hungary on 19 January 1804. Commentary Cray was one of the best representatives of the old Austrian army. Tied to an obsolete system, and unable, from habit, to realize the changed conditions of warfare, he failed, but his enemies held him in the highest respect as a brave, skillful, and chivalrous opponent. It was he who, at Altenkirchen, cared for the dying Marceau 1796, and the white uniforms of Cray and his staff mingled with the blue of the French in the funeral procession of the young general of the Republic. <laughs> 